if you look just at the Quran, you will get the indication that you can have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old. No. The reason why it's haram to have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old is not found in the Quran at all. If you just read the Quran, it is halal. It would just it would be halal to have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old. Chapter sixty-five, verse four. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us who you can divorce and who you cannot divorce. And then he says, And the ones who had never been pubescent before. And by the way, this is very important, yeah? I want all Muslims to be aware of this. The reason why we don't have sexual intercourse with five-year-olds and six-year-olds and seven-year-olds or whatever is not because of puberty. Wait a minute, what did you say? It's not because of puberty, because that verse in the Quran actually says Lam Yahidn. They never had puberty before. You can't go around that. The Quran doesn't say, doesn't say anywhere in the Quran that the woman has to be pubescent. I dare you to find one verse in the Quran where it says you're not allowed to marry someone based on harm, or you're not allowed to have sexual intercourse based on harm, or you're not allowed to marry someone based on puberty. Uh, Get me one verse in the Quran which says the woman has to be pubescent. No. You know in the Quran it says, It says you're not allowed to marry your mum. It says you're not allowed you're to marry your sister, your auntie. Where does it say you're not allowed to marry a prepubescent? I'm looking for one verse that you, you can say, you pinpoint it and say this is where it says prepubescent marriage or whatever is not allowed. So if you're Quran alone, you're still towards pedophilia, and a severe type of pedophilia, a wife abuse, a severe type of wife abuse. So according to Muhammad Hijab here, who is addressing Quran only Muslims, if you only take the Quran, you are basically a pedophile. You must accept that the Quran on itself allows you to be a pedophile. You can marry prepubescent little Muslim girls. So if you're Quran alone, you're still towards pedophilia and a severe type of pedophilia. A wife abuse, a severe type of wife abuse. So according to Muhammad Hijabir, if you only take the Quran on itself as a Quran alone Muslim, yes, you can be a pedophile. But if you accept the Sunnah, you accept, let's say, the tafsir, the explanations and the hadith of Muhammad, then you are not allowed to be a pedophile. According to Muhammad Hijabir, so let's see if he is lying or not. Let's check it out. But wait, if we go to the tafsir, since uh, Muhammad Hijab, that's his whole point, you must go to the hadith and you must go to the tafsir to understand. Let us go to the tafsir. Here is tafsir Jalalain for the same chapter, same ayah, chapter 65 of the Quran, ayah 4. Tafsir Jalalain says the following. We read, also, for those who have not yet menstruated, meaning the little girls, the little prepubescent girls, because of their young age, their period shall also be three months. So you are allowed to marry little girls who did not reach the age of menstruation yet because they are far too young. So even if you are not a Quran-only Muslim, according to Tafsir Jalalain for this ayah of the Quran, you are allowed to be a pedophile. What about Tafsir Ibn Kathir? Here is Ibn Kathir, chapter 65, ayah 4. Again, the same story. The same for the young little girls who have not reached the years of menstruation yet. Meaning, according to both Tafsir Ibn Kathir and Ajalalain, you are allowed to marry prepubescent girls. So you are allowed to be a pedophile as a Muslim man. So do you not understand what kind of hypocrite, what kind of munafiq this Muhammad Hijab is? Any Muslim, Sunni or Quran only, you have to believe that you can be a potential pedophile because the Quran and the tafsir, the Sunnah, allow you to be a pedophile. Only a true son of Satan will still call himself a Muslim in 2022. Shame on you. Tfu on this cult. But when we say it, we are Islamophobic. Stay away from Islam.